Hey there. Um, so I'm back uh, after a long hiatus to discuss a simple sort of, I guess you could call it a clock divider done on the synthesizer.com modular. And um, it shouldn't take long. It's a really simple patch. But um, it was interesting to me. Hopefully it'll be interesting to you. Um, so the first place we're going to start is in Logic. Here I'm going to use MIDI to do this, so for all of you who are um, purists and don't, aren't really interested in MIDI techniques, this may not uh, appeal to you very much. Um, I don't know if you can see the colors very well, uh, but the key thing to note is that I've made a pattern of 30 second notes um, which have an interesting property. The first note of every bar is at maximum velocity the first note of every beat other than those is at about um, two-thirds velocity and this note which is every quarter is um, at about um, half velocity and then separating each of those and I put it on a separate, separate line to make it a bit clearer are a bunch of notes at zero velocity now the pitch of these doesn't matter whatsoever. You can actually, if you want to see the relative velocities I was talking about, you might be able to see them a bit better in Hyperdraw. Um, the pitch of these notes doesn't matter whatsoever, in fact. Um, what we are doing right now is we are just interested in the velocity. That's what we're going to use to do our controlling. And the relationship between those velocities is the key thing to driving this patch. So we are going to start it playing. It's just on a loop and then we will move over to the modular. So as I mentioned, we're really just interested in the velocity. So we start by grabbing a cable and taking the velocity out of our MIDI interface and just putting it into a multiples module. Uh, I hope you forgive me for going handheld on this one, but I'm going to be moving. I thought since I was moving around a lot that it might be easier. So that's going into our multiple modules from whence we will distribute it a few places. The first place it goes is directly into this gate. And you can see it flashing with, um, with, e with each of those quarters uh, as we saw. Then we are going to take it and put the same velocity into half of our signal processor which currently is set at 100% uh, gain offset zero so it's just passing the signal through basically. Now we are going to take the last of our velocity outputs and put it into the other half of our signal processor. Wow I'm terrible with this camera. There it is which is also set at offset of zero. And then we are going to take the output of the signal processor top and bottom and put those into our next envelope generator and our third envelope generator accordingly. And now we have three envelope generators that are all flashing in quarters along with the um, along with the uh, velocities signal the velocity signals that we're getting. And it's it's important to put those dead zero velocity nodes between each one so that we get them flashing this way. Uh, if we didn't have those there you would just have a continuous note because the MIDI interface can keep sending the last velocity that it got so we have to manually crank it down to zero between each note. Now what we're going to do here now and I don't know if I can usefully get both of these in here but if you watch the second oscillator we are going to just turn down the offset on the top half of the signal processor a bit. Oh look at that! It's doing half time compared to the other one. And that's because we've tur by turning down the off offset, we've moved the um, we've moved the velocity um, down to a level where it's not triggering 
except on the higher of the uh, of the values that we've set. And we're going to do the same here. We're going to turn it down again. And it's moving at half time, and we're going to keep turning it down. And now we've got it moving at half time again. So we've eff effectively set up a, a synchronized clock pulse from our MIDI uh, from our from Logic through the MIDI interface to these three envelope gener generators that will trigger them in um, in uh, fractional relationships to each other simply by taking the same uh, velocities that are being sent to them all and manipulating using the signal processor whether they pass the trigger velocity or not. And uh, we can do a very simple demonstration of the result of this by taking a sine wave oscillator and putting it into an amp and taking another one and putting it into our second amp and unfortunately I only have two amps so what we're going to do is we're going to start by having our most frequent gate control the first amp and let's put this into the mixer and hopefully you can hear that and then we are going to take our um, take the gate output from the halftime gate and put that into our other amp and jack that output into our mixer so now you should be able to hear that halftime note assuming that you can hear that from there and I don't have a third amp so what we are going to have to do is just jack for the heck of it this third signal from the gate directly into the mixer it does actually make a noise and I crank these up a little bit too much so you know, a little distortion there but you should be able to hear the three notes moving in moving in time with the three oscillators we've got some basic form of clock division driven simply by using the properties of velocity as a continuous controller almost um, and the signal processor to chop it up to three different destinations I hope this idea is useful to you and that you can use it thanks bye